Uh, my next guest won Star Search in 2003. His uh, premium blend airs next month on Comedy Central. Please welcome the very funny John Roy, everybody. What's up? Uh, I am bummed out because summer's over. I'm a little bummed. I think most people are, too. But there's one group of people who are happy. They hate the summer. Goths. <laughs> Those pasty-faced kids with the black nail polish, they're miserable, because they got no wardrobe options. <laughs> you gotta hate life if it's 110 degrees outside and you're a Marilyn Manson fan. Because you gotta wear black leather pants and a cape. Because you can't look like a vampire in shorts. And nobody makes scary sandals. I think cell phones are making us dumber. Why? Because I used to know a lot of phone numbers. <laughs> Not anymore. They go right in the phone. They don't spend any time in my brain. If I lost my phone now, I couldn't even call my dad. <laughs> and they have phones now that don't even have the name of the guy anymore. It's a picture of the guy. <laughs> what happens when I lose that phone? <laughs> Can I get the listing for a Japanese guy in a baseball hat? Give me the thumbs up. <laughs> He's in front of a TGI Fridays in a Cubs shirt. Does that help at all? There's dumb commercials on TV, man. There's one late at night. You call a number. Then through the mail, they send you your GED. You know what else you get? Class ring. Because you'll be wearing that with pride. Can I get a yearbook, too? Hey, as long as we're making stuff up, can I be on the football team? Can we get a reunion? I tell you, man, I think some TV shows just put out a false message of hope to America. There's a show called CSI. I think this show puts out the message that somewhere, crimes are being solved. <laughs> Where is this happening? Where was the radioactive fingerprint powder when the crackhead stole my laptop? <laughs> you know, what crazy technology the cop brought to that crime scene? A pen. <laughs> which ran out and he had to use mine. You ever seen the Iron Chef? This show, uh, these two chefs battle it out to see who's the best. There's a catch. They can only use the same set of ingredients. You know what, so what? I'm not impressed. They get gourmet ingredients. Let's see what can they can do with the stuff in my fridge. Let's see what the Iron Chef can make out of two cans of Bud Light, a Kraft Single, and a pickle. Uh. Some shows that I used to like Later on, I thought about him a little more. I, I had a little different opinion. Like, my favorite show growing up, Dukes of Hazard, right? <laughs> then, I found out about the Confederacy. Why didn't anybody tell me I had a pro-slavery lunchbox? <laughs> I would have liked that information before I went to school looking like a junior Klansman. <sighs> Although, you know what? I'm glad that I grew up in the 80s instead of now. Because all the moms today, overprotective. Every kid I see has a bike helmet on. It would have been much more dangerous to wear a bike helmet than not to wear one when I was growing up. Because, come on, the chance of falling off your bike and hitting your head, pretty small, right? The chance of somebody kicking the crap out of you because you have a bike helmet on? 100%. You know what? This is still the greatest country in the world to live in, though. It's the greatest place in the world to live. But you know what? I think we're ungrateful. I don't think we appreciate what we've got here in the U.S. Because I'll tell you why. Every President's Day, I turn on the TV. This is a day that is supposed to honor Abraham Lincoln, one of our country's greatest heroes. But what do I see on TV? This guy. Four score and seven years ago, we brought forth tremendous savings on waterbeds. <laughs> what did Lincoln do to deserve this? Was he ever like, you know, I don't mind giving my life for this country? As long as one day men of all races can put on beards and make fun of me outside of furniture stores on my birthday. <laughs> it's bad enough you put me on the penny. <laughs> the only money so worthless you just leave it there when you drop it. <laughs> I took a bullet, can you pull me out of the gum? <laughs> you know what? I don't think other countries do this to their heroes. When you turn on the TV in England, I don't think you see a big, fat Winston Churchill going, I never gave in to the Nazis, <laughs> but these fish and chips made me surrender. <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. <laughs>